Hello friends, welcome to 8th video of C-Sharp.net programming. In this video, we are going to cover arrays in C-Sharp. Here, we are going to discuss about how to declare the arrays, how we can initialize and assign the values to the elements, how we can access the array element by using for each loop. Also, we are going to use system.array class, which is a built-in class to work with the arrays, which provides you different methods to manipulate the arrays. Now when you talk about the arrays, arrays are one of the most used object in C-Sharp. You work with any languages like C, C++, .NET or Java, arrays are used. Array is nothing but, it is a collection of elements of same type. So I can define integer array wherein all the elements are of integer type. I can define string array wherein all the elements of string type or you can also declare array of custom class objects now to access the array element we use the index consider we have an array named as arr and if you want to access element at index 3 we say arr of 3 in square bracket 3 which is used to access the element at index 3 arrays are zero index base that is the array index starts with zero so areas array is fixed size sequential collection of elements of same type so when you declare the array arrays are you need to specify the size of the array that's why it is called as fixed size fixed size in the sense you cannot increase or decrease the size of the array at runtime now here we are going to see how to declare the array and how to initialize the array elements. Now to declare the array, while you declare the array in C sharp, we use square bracket that must come after the data type and not after the identifier. So here you can see we have int followed by square bracket and the name of the array that is numbers. Now it declares integer array named as numbers now there are different ways to initialize and assign the values to the element here you can see you can declare the integer array named as numbers equal to new int into square bracket 5 so here we have declared array named as numbers with size 5 where are there are five elements by default, all these elements are initialized to 0. Here we have declared integer array with size 5. And ahead here, we can specify the values of the element. So here we have declared integer array with 5 size, where the, uh, each element is initialized to some value. The next thing is you can declare the array with the same in the same way as that of previous one here you can exclude the size and you can specify the values to the elements there is another way to initialize the array you can say int square bracket numbers equal to there is no need to use new keyword to initialize the array you can directly assign the values to the array elements like this so you can use any of the way to declare the array. Now here we're going to use for each loop to access the array element. Now the for each loop is a special loop used for iterating through the items of an array. For each loop is used to iterate through a collection. But when you are using for each loop, you cannot add or remove the items from the source collection to avoid unpredictable side effects. For each loop is used to read all the items in an array. You cannot add or remove the items from the source that is collection or array. So the syntax for for each loop is for each. Here you specify some expression in the source. So source can be array or collection followed by the statements that you want to execute. If you consider the example. Here we have written a for each loop to iterate into a string array. We have a string array named as str. 
so we say for each string s in str where we have declared expression the data type of this expression must be same as that of the data type of single element in the array so str is a string or array of string so data type must be string if you are using integer array data type must be integer and we say console dot write line s now we are going to use system dot array class this is a built-in class available this class is a base class for all the type of arrays in c sharp the array class provides properties and methods to work with an array some of the methods that array class provides are clear copy reverse and sort so clear method is used to clear all the elements copy method is used to copy some elements from one array to another array reverse method is used to reverse the order of the array elements and sort is used to sort the array elements now let us try to implement this programmatically here we are going to declare integer array with some elements so i will say integer array numbers and on the same line i am going to initialize or assign the values to the array elements so let us say some values 56 78 34 12 45 77 so some values are initialized now let us print all the elements here so i'll say console dot write line array elements here i want to print all the elements so we'll use special loop for each so i'll say for each here it is integer number no in numbers so our source is our array number so data type must be integer as it is integer array so i'll say console dot write line no from this program you will get all the elements printed on the screen so if you look at the at output here you will find all the elements are printed as we have defined in the array now let us use system dot array class i want to sort all the numbers so array dot sort method can be used here into bracket our array that is numbers so i'll say array dot sort numbers when you run the code or when you run the program you will find all the array elements are printed in the sorted order so let us see the output here let me run this now if you run this you will find all the elements are printed in the sorted order Now let us reverse it array dot reverse into bracket numbers so this method will reverse the array element so if you run it you will find now the elements are printed in the descending order now let us try one more method i want to copy some element from our array to a new array named as arr so i'll define int arr equal to new int with three elements so i want to copy three elements from numbers to arr so i'll say array so this three elements will be copied or let us see what is copied arr or array dot copy into bracket so it is asking for the source array our source array is numbers so i want to copy the elements from our number array so i'll say numbers the second is where if you want to copy it i want to copy it into arr and number of elements i want to copy is three now let us print the elements of the new array that is arr so cw console or write line arr elements let us take a new line again we'll use for each loop for arr for each int 
x okay and tx in uh, our source is arr let us print element console dot write line x now when you run it you will find first three elements are copied so what we have done is first we have sorted the array we have reversed the array and then three numbers are copied so in arr copy method causes to copy first three elements from our number array to arr so these elements are copied from our source that is numbers so in this way you can use array in your application there are different ways available to initialize the array and declare the array so this is what from my side thank you very much for watching the video and feel free to put your comment uh, below the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you in the next video let us see what we can see in the next video thank you very much